fancy new hickeys. So, we learned about these at Oshkosh this past year. And for the rudder, we haven't used them for the elevator yet, but looking forward to it because our experience with the rudder was awesome. Yes. Definitely super happy to have these for the rudder. Um, so, Double flush rivet in. I remember the first time we had to double flush rivet on the uh, fuselage and we're like, what the heck is this? I'm glad those rivets are tucked away that no one gets to see. So um, yeah, traditional double flush rivet in is a challenge and double flush rivet in a trail and edge at two different angles are even more challenging I can only imagine because I've never tried, nor do I want to try. <laughs> These are set at the perfect angle. Again, there's two different angles with trail and edges. Uh, all trail and edges, except for the RV-14 elevator. And the RV-14 elevator uh, has yes, that it's one. It's own special trailing edge squeezer. These springs are set to align the edges just perfect. And uh, as we were told from uh, Mike at Cleveland Tools, go through with your traditional squeezer, uh, pneumatic squeezer, and set it. Like if, half set. Yeah, like half set. So, like, so they're not going to move. Yeah, you look at it and it's, um, it's, you know, definitely under set. Then you come back with these and you use them pretty much like regular squeeze sets. You, you put them in. The trick is to make sure if um, the trail and edges go in here, that you keep this perpendicular. You don't want to hit it at an angle um, because these are uh, calibrated to go right at this, this angle. And uh, it did some really beautiful double flush rivets for us that I'm really happy. It's like I almost can't tell what side was uh, the shop head and the manufactured head after, after these. As we were doing it and like, I was not going to say I was skeptical, but I was curious about how it was working. So I was like watching it line up and then I'd watch it squeeze a little bit and a little bit more and then all the way. And then I would, it would like release. And I was like, it's perfect. It's perfect. It was, it was really great watching it all come together so nicely. It was like almost like cheating. Now, I know uh, some of our viewers on this channel and friends, have, um, they have some advice on how you can set the depth because how hitting that rivet forward and backwards just right is important. Um, and, you know, he showed a video of putting a piece of angle aluminum across and mounting it. We kind of tried that and it, it wasn't working for us. And I found eyeballing it worked really, really well for me if I could. I felt comfortable lifting up the uh, rudder and really seeing it and uh, setting it well. So that worked for us. Um, however you hit the right spot, whatever is right for you, do it. Over and over and over and over Over again. and over, because there's a lot of them. And there's going to be a lot more in that elevator coming up soon. We'll use this one for that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, must have? Definitely yes. must have. I would not want to set a trail on edge without these. Um, um, yeah. Probably do a fine job uh, using the traditional methods, but um, a lot of smarts and engineering went into these to make life a lot easier. And I'm a firm believer of you want to do a good build, have good tools. The better tools you have, and it makes it faster, quicker, easier, drill out less rivets. Uh, if you use the right tools from the beginning, uh, we started off trying to cheap out. Cheaping out is not the answer. Um, and love our um, trail and edge uh, squeezers.